Hello class, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today, we are going to discuss the lesson 9 which is about representing real life situations using one to one function. Let us define what is one to one function. A function f of x is one to one if no two values in the domain or x correspond to the same value in the range or y. So we have domain and range. Our x set of x values and set of y values. So if your domain, um, your domain should correspond only to one value in your y. Same with y or your range should all correspond only to one value in your domain or in your set of x. So let's have this type of map, uh, example of mapping. So we have here the domain, we have a, b, c, and d, and the range we have Roman numeral 1, 2, 3, and 4. So your a corresponds only to one value in your range, which is 1. b corresponds only to one value in your range again, which is 2. And C corresponds to 3, and D corresponds to 4. So there is this another type of function, which is called many-to-one function. So this many-to-one function is a function f of x is said to be many-to-one if there are y values that have more than one x values corresponds to them. So meaning, you have many x values that is corresponding to a one value in your y. So let's have this sample mapping. So as we can see again, we have the domain a, b, c, and d, and our range 1, 2, and 3. So this time, your a corresponds to 2, and c corresponds also to 2, Roman numeral 2, in the values of your um, y. So, in our range. So, meaning we have many to one function. So, it's still a function. Next, let's discuss the different properties of one to one function. So, we have three here. First, the domain of the function x is equal to the range of the inverse of x, and the range of function is equal to the domain of its inverse. So I have here the table for us to easy to understand. So we have here your function and its inverse function. So the domain of this function is equals to the range. So your set of values of your x for function is equals to the set of values for the y in your inverse function. And vice versa for the range we have in your function, it is equals to the domain of your inverse function. Next, for the second property, we have this. If we evaluate um, the inverse function and the your function with f of x and inverse of x, so your inverse of f of x is equals to, it will be equal to x for every x in the domain of your function of x. And your function of inverse is equals to x for every x in the domain of your inverse function. And for the last, we have the third property, the graph of the function and the graph of its inverse are symmetric with respect to the line y is equals to x or your graph is um, the graph of your inverse function is just a mirror image of your of the graph of your function itself now let us move on to the different examples of real-life situations or real-life representations of one-to-one -one functions. 
So, for this example, we have the relation of pairing of an employee to his or her employee number. So, each one of the employees in a certain company um, has their own unique um, employee number. So, based on the time that they got hired or employed. So, another example we have the relation of pairing a real number to its cube. So, every real number we have here the table 1, 2, 7, I just listed up to 7, and so on. It's, it has a equivalent or a pair of their cube. So, every real number has its own cube. So, 1, we have 1. 2 cube, we have 8. 3 cube, we have 27. 4 cube, we have 64. 5 cube, we have 125. 6 cube, we have 216. And 7, we have 353. And last example for real life representations, we have the relation of pairing a person to his or her DNA. So, every person has their own unique DNA. And even twins um, or tri uh, triplets, they have still different DNA set.